Hello, my name is Ran and welcome to Games You Might Be Missing. In case you don't know what this is, I go to Steam every day and see whatever comes out that day, and I look a bit into the future to see if anything interesting comes out. Then I compile a list and I go through it a little at a time every time I make one of these videos. So let's take a look at today's selection. Coming in first and coming out to early access on Steam about a week ago is Griftlands, the new game from Clay Entertainment. If you're unfamiliar, the people who made Don't Starve and not Oxygen Not Included and Shank. And this one is a new kind of card battler, but you're not only fighting with strength, you're not only trying to kill or maim other people, you're also trying to grift them, persuade them, or steal from them, or other stuff. And it's got that cool clay style, and it looks really good. I'm not yet sure exactly how it plays, though it seems like a regular card battler, only you, you sometimes need to battle to persuade people to join you. And you can get it now for about 13 bucks on Steam if you want to join the Early Access. It's clay, so it's already overwhelmingly positive, so I expect it to be good. Next up is Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. Didn't expect to see this one on PC, ever but I guess it only took them three years. It's going to be coming out in summer 2020, so anytime in the next three months. And if you're not familiar with Horizon yet, there are multiple playthroughs you can see on Twitch and YouTube. It's an amazing action-adventure game, which I've already seen to completion, so I don't know if I'll actually play, but I'm actually still considering it because it looks so much fun. Number three on this list is Rogue Legacy 2, set to come out in summer of 2020. If you're not familiar with Rogue Legacy, go check out the first one. It's a roguelite game about exploring a castle, Castlevania-like. And the cool thing is that, is that whenever your character dies, the descendant jumps in and they're slightly different. They might be weaker, they might be stronger, they might be magical, they might be a knight, they might be an archer. It's all very neat. And the castle changes unless you pay to not. And I really enjoyed the last one, so I'm looking forward to see what they do in this one. This is Soldat. It's a side-scrolling shooter, uh, competitive game, highly competitive, very brutal. Came out in 2002, and it's available free-to-play now on Steam. As you can see, it's kind of janky, but the mechanics are awesome, and the game is very fast-paced. If you want to spend a night trolling and killing your friends, it's a cool way to do it. I've done it many times, and it's free-to-play. Why am I mentioning it? Because this is Soldat 2. It's coming out in summer 2020. It's an improved version of Soldat. It's got a 2.5D aesthetic. I'm not sure if they actually made any difference to the mechanics, but it looks better and it's coming to early access in summer 2020. No price yet. New World is the new open world MMO coming from the new studio Amazon Games. This is very cinematic. I'm not sure what the game will actually be like. And I'm not really into MMOs, but it is an MMO coming from Amazon, so I bet it's not going to just go down the drain like all the other MMOs that tried to fight Warcraft. The release date is currently set to 25th of August, and the price is currently set to 40 bucks. And finally, if you've really been waiting, I don't know, 15 years for this, then the Game of Thrones digital board game is coming to Steam. I've played this game in the board game edition, and this looks kind of fateful, but... I don't really like the board game itself, but it's a Game of Thrones thing, so I thought I'll mention it. Coming out in Q3 2020, no price yet. And finally, if you like all the stuff that I do, I have a Facebook page called Saber Runner Gaming. I have a Twitch channel and a YouTube channel. I go on Twitter, everything is Saber Runner. And I hope to see you around. Stay good, have fun.